Last week I did a video on the Put People First March which I participated in last month. The aim of the march was to challenge the G20 ahead of the summit on the global financial crisis. When it comes to demonstrating your democratic rights such as voting and participating in a march or a peaceful protest, many people always say, what difference can I make? And I admit, I've been one of these people. I've ignored the reminders to update my registration details on the electoral roll, thinking such and such always wins, so what's the point in voting? I've dismissed my opportunity to participate in other peaceful protests, owing to them, you know, being too far away or I've got other plans on that day. But each of us who have listened to our internal dialogues regurgitate those words over and over each year know that what we're really doing is selling out. We're covering up the real reasons why we don't do these things. The true reasons for our lack of democratic action are more embarrassing. The truth is we don't march because we don't really know what the crisis is in Tibet or the situation is in Gaza. We don't vote because we don't know who to vote for. We don't know one party from another and admitting that information is, frankly, too shameful. Surely you must know right wing from left wing, they say. Mm. Well, no. <laughs> no, actually I don't. Of course, sure I know. Only a fool wouldn't. <laughs> So the cycle of unknowing continues until the next election creeps up on us and BAM! The same situation hits us in the face like a political punch bag. We're knocked to the floor. And as we're lying there with our bruised egos, we think, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. With our tails between our legs, we slink away from the political conversations, away from Labour versus Lib Dem, private public, human rights and vow to steer clear of this embarrassing minefield uttering eh, what difference can I make anyway as we sidestep away well you know what enough is enough it's time to stop allowing these tired excuses to drown out my conscience I have integrity morals and principles and I do care I care about the estimated 6.3 million tonnes of packaging that comes into our homes every year at a cost of £450 to the average family. I care about the fact that plastic packaging like film, tubs, uh, pots and punnets that fruit and meat come in are not collected for recycling and so are dumped in landfill sites taking 500 years to decompose. I care about the fact that the UK is failing miserably behind other nations like Germany who have such sophisticated methods of recycling, reusing and reducing their waste. I care about getting the right people in power who are going to recognise these issues and do something drastic to change things for the better. But I need help. I'm a busy girl, you know. I have a job. I have a social life. I have to keep my stomach under control. I already don't have time to fit in everything I've set myself, let alone adding more to the mix. And let's face it, researching the best candidate to represent me in the next European election isn't going to take priority over shopping, surfing, sex in the city, or even doing my laundry. I need to find ways in which I can incorporate politics into my daily life with minimal effort. I need something engaging, exciting, not the news, uh-uh. I need something new. I just don't know what. I need help. So, I'm off round the southwest to find out what other young people care about. If they manage to keep up to date with politics and how they feel it can be better managed in our lives so that we're not all walking around claiming, hmm, what difference can I make?